Hi there, I'm Pilar and welcome to our channel. As you might know, Super Bowl 55 is right around the corner. So we asked ourselves if American football and watchmaking have something in common. The answer is yes. They share many significant attributes, including speed, and the pursuit for precision. American football is also called the game of inches. Therefore, time gets a new meaning. Seconds and hundreds of seconds are deciding games. Now, let's don't waste too much time and have a look at the watches of the NFL stars. The first player on our list is none other than the latest Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes, also known as the Rockstar. At least that's how his teammate, such as Travis Kelsey, calls him due to his extroverted character. Apart from his nicknames, he was spotted wearing a lot of nice watches during the NFL game days off the pitch. After winning his first Super Bowl in 2020, he was wearing a Rolex Yachtmaster 40 in Everose Gold at the Victory Parade in Kansas. The winner of the Pete Rozelle Trophy celebrated these two titles with his teammates wearing the beautiful Rolex on his wrist. The watch features a diamond set dial, but is also available with a standard matte black dial. It comes with a bi-directional rotatable 60-minute graduated bezel with matte black zero-chrome insert in ceramic, polished raised numerals, and graduations. The robust qualities of this model make it the ideal watch, especially for sport activities. But it doesn't stop there. Matching his fancy and eccentric lifestyle, he was spotted wearing a Rolex Daytona rainbow with a bezel featuring a rainbow of 36 baguette cut sapphires. The case is set with 56 more diamonds, and even the hour markers feature 11 more sapphires. This watch does not only complement his lifestyle, but also his statistics, because as we all know, his numbers are crazy good. So it's only fitting that he wears his Rolex masterpiece. A rather average pick for Mahomes was his 2009 Rolex GMT Master II Batman. But it's really no surprise that the MVP is linked again with Rolex, the brand which has always been embracing their status through winners and champions in the sports world, such as Roger Federer. Of course, this timepiece is an all-time classic, but how well it goes with the new superstar of the NFL is up for debate. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. It's no secret that record-breaking quarterback Tom Brady is wild about watches. There are rumors that his passion for timepieces began back in his college days. His taste is somewhat less mainstream, and you'll often find him sporting a Rolex Milgaus or Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. From 2015 to 2018, Brady mostly wore Takhoi. This is mainly because Jean-Claude Beaver was able to nab the six-time Super Bowl champion as an ambassador for the stoic Swiss brand. Brady was particularly fond of classics like the Carrera and Monaco. In 2017, Tag Heuer even released a limited edition Heuer 01 in honor of the football legend. This chronograph has a brushed stainless steel case, blue dial, and red accents on the hands and indices. Fans will recognize blue and red as the color of Brady's former team, the New England Patriots. Another notable detail is a large 12-hour marker in the style of Brady's jersey number on the dial. The same number also appears as an engraving on the stainless steel case back. Only 466 copies of the Hoyer 01 Brady edition exist, making it truly a rare find. However, Chrono24 is home to plenty of listings for other versions of the same watch. Go see for yourself. Brady switched allegiances to IWC in 2019. This change represented something of a homecoming for the superstar, as he's always been a self-described fan of the brand. Apparently, he even made a screensaver with pictures of IWC watches for his computer when he was younger. One of the main reasons he became fascinated with the international watch company is its unique history. It was founded in Switzerland in 1868 by an American named Florentine Ariosto Jones. And for a short period of time, famed psychologist Carl Gustav Jung was one of its co-owners. In fact, Brady came to love the brand so much that he used his first NFL paycheck to purchase an IWC GST automatic. Since then, he has significantly expanded his IWC collection. He's particularly fond of Pilot's watches and is known to have a Top Gun Miramar, a Spitfire and a World Timer. You can also find him donning a big Pilot's watch father and son in rose gold. For more formal occasions, you can generally spot Brady wearing a classic IWC Portuguesa dress watch. He owns several models from this collection, though the 43mm Portuguesa perpetual calendar with a moon face display seems to be his personal favorite. That makes sense, seeing as it was a birthday gift from his wife, Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bündchen. Brady's particular watch has a white gold case and blue dial. You can find this in other versions, such as models in rose gold or platinum with a white, black or grey dial on Chrono24. 
IWC recently created a video commemorating the quarterback. The short film, known as Born of a Dream, A Boy from San Mateo, was directed by Rune Milton and follows Brady's long and arduous journey to become one of the greatest players in NFL history. Of course, it also includes shots of the star's comprehensive IWC collection. Our next player is a true legend and one of the best NFL quarterbacks of all time, who unfortunately missed the Super Bowl this season yet another time. The winner of the Super Bowl 45 and two-time MVP seems to be a real watch lover and has recently become the new ambassador for Senate. But he was already known as a collector before that. Like many NFL stars, you would tend to link him to, let's say, a Rolex Daytona or an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. But his choices may surprise you. The first watch he was spotted wearing was a Rolex Deep Sea with a black dial, an ultra-resistant diver's watch for deep sea exploration. The model was launched in 1967 and its latest edition from 2009 has a waterproofness up to an astonishing 3,900 meters, which is about 12,800 feet. But why did he choose this watch? Well, we don't know for sure, but the model is connected to historic events, like James Cameron's solo dive to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, some 11,000 meters deep. So you could argue that the model is the perfect fit for an athlete who holds more than 25 NFL records. But let's go back and talk about his new contract and partnership with Zenith. Recently, he was seen on many advertisements wearing the brand new Zenith El Primero Chronomaster, a living legend paired with an icon in the world of watches. The El Primero was first introduced in 1969 as the world's first high-frequency automatic chronograph movement. Its high-frequency beat rate of 36,000 vibrations per hour and its column wheel mechanism ensure reliability and precision. Regarding the fit to the brand, Zenith itself has stated that its current marketing theme of reach for your own star was in line with Rogers' own story about dreaming of the NFL as a child and then becoming an all-pro player. So it was a perfect match for them, and as it seems, for Rogers as well. By the way, the Zenith El Primero Chronomaster has frequently been compared to the Rolex Daytona. What do you think? Is this comparison justified? Let us know in the comments. Most other NFL stars have Rolex at the top of their wish lists. For example, Cam Newton, who replaced Brady as the Patriots quarterback, is a fan of the Yachtmaster II and Daydate. His counterpart on the Seattle Seahawks, Russell Wilson, is a proud Rolex Date Just 41 owner, as is Dallas Cowboys QB Doug Prescott. Fellow quarterback Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons prefers more unusual timepieces. While he frequently wears a Rolex Sky Dweller, he's also been known to sport a Submariner Kermit with a green bezel and black dial from time to time. Patek Philippe also has a following among NFL players, like Philadelphia Eagles defensive lineman Malik Jackson, who generally prefers a Nautilus. So guys, the Super Bowl 55 in Tampa Bay is getting closer, and we're really curious to hear what you think are going to be watches that will be spotted at the world's biggest sports event. Tell us in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this brief glimpse at the wrist of a few NFL stars. If you've been inspired to purchase your own watch, you can find the watches and the links in the description below. Alright, until next time, enjoy your watches!